Hello everyone, Frozen Carlos here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Insurgents. In the last episode, we took on the second Augur and essentially broke his, uh, I guess, Mega Crystal or something like that. In this episode, we uh, are going to explore Utria Town and hopefully go to the library. Uh, yeah, I just want to make sure I get everything around here first. So, uh, yeah. Oh, jeez, alright. Starting off the episode strong with a Max Revive. Good lord. Holy crap. Oh, I will make sure I will be careful using that. Oh my gosh. Uh... Oh, he's just telling me about going to a library. Yeah, I guess I get the feeling that you're not going to get much around here except go to the library for the plot. I think... Uh... I don't think I can go, go anywhere else. Um... Let's see. Wait, what do you have? I found this really beautiful leaf last winter. Would you like to take a look at it? Yes. Wonderful, I hope you like the look of it. Oh, well, I didn't see it. Well, shit. <laughs> Alrighty then. Um. Oh, yeah, so we can't even leave here. Uh, let's see. Could you do me a favor? I've been searching through the library for ages, but I couldn't find the book I was looking for anywhere. It was about moonlight and healing moves. If you could go find if you could find it for me, I could give you something in return. Oh, sweet. Oh, look at that, a side quest. Uh, you know that prophecy that about the cults everyone talks about? I heard a rumor that it was written in the Utria Library. There's an orb in the abandoned wing that some people think have to do with it, but I don't believe them. Rumors are just rumors after all. Well, yeah, okay, so I get the feeling that this is more or less like, oh, go to the library, you dumb fuck. <laughs> Back when I was in college, I was in the graduating class with Ryuka and Professor Sylvan. Oh, those two were super smart. It's no wonder they became so close. Oh, yeah, that's right. They know each other. After, like, what, how many episodes we're on now? Like, 19, I think? We finally get more in some information about uh, those two. Okay, well, I guess there's nothing really there. I guess it's just like a town be like, Oh, look at that! That is cool! I didn't notice that before. Oh, that's cool. Look at all the swallow flying. Okay, well, I guess there's no choice but to go to the Utria library. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. I don't think there's anything else for us here. Oh, wait, no. Oh, the jump Pluff is holding an item. Whoa, substitute. Excuse me? Alright. Hey kid, do you think you can do me a favor? Oh boy, another side quest. I'm trying to trade up my fighting type team, but I'm having trouble deciding on the best movesets for them. There's a book in the library called The Fighting Compendum that could help, but I haven't been able to find it. If you can get it for me, there'll be def there'll definitely be a reward in for you. Okay, so a book about healing and a book about fighting types. Have you ever considered a career in the Pokemon Navy? It's a very difficult job for sure, but it can be very rewarding. I've seen so many incredible water type Pokemon on my journeys. Oh, alright. Alright. Well, that's two things we have to be on the lookout for. A uh, book about moonlight. Aw, oh, jeez. Oh, sorry! Oh, hey, Arya. I'm so glad you made it. Welcome to the Utria town. It's a beautiful place. Nora, Arya's finally here. Oh, there's Nora. Oh, do we have to fight her? Arya, I'm glad to see you. I heard about what happened at the Jade Tower. That's horrific. It's hard to believe that the Augur was really the leader of the Sky Cult all along. If anything, though, that just makes what we're doing even more important. Remember a while ago when we first met, I told you about some ancient prophecy about the Pixies? Yeah. This right here is the Utria Library. It has the biggest collection of books in the region. I figured that if any one place could have information or even have that prophecy would be here. Damien and I are skimming through the shelves trying to find the information. I'd appreciate it if you could help us out. But first, you and I are... Hey, wait, you said I could go first. Oh, I have to battle both of them. Oh boy. Oh no. Damien and I both have Mega Rings and Mega Evolutions on our teams now. Oh, lovely. I wanted to test my team against yours, so does Damien, though. And we shouldn't waste too much time. Why don't you pick? We're rivals after all, so we should try to keep each other on our toes. Who do you want to battle? Uh... Uh... 
Neither is my choice. Alright then, Arya. I hope you're ready to lose because I'm not going to hold back. Oh, what? Ugh. I thought I could just go back because I wasn't sure if I if I'd healed before. Oh well. Oh well. Here we go. Oh, he has a Crawdon. I kind of wanted to battle Nora because we battled Damien before. Ah, well, it's fine. Uh... Choice between Donnie or Thunderbolt. Yeah, you know what? Donnie. Donnie can... I haven't, I haven't used Donnie much since a few episodes, so let's let's use him. Ouch. That crab hammer. Why does that do so much? Holy fucking crap. Uh, eat this Aurora Sphere, pal. Good lord, why did that do so much? I mean, it is crab hammer. That is a high... It might have adaptability. I get that feeling. It might have adaptability on top of it. Okay. Well, that's one down. Uh... Okay. Oh, he has... Oh, yeah, he has the Mega Venusaur. Oh, boy. I don't have anything against that. That thing is, a, what, a fairy and psychic? Yeah, I have... I got nothing on that. I would need a steel type. Yeah. Okay. I think my turn snacko joke has run its course. I think I might be in the market for a, a steel type somewhere down the road. Like, 100%. Uh, earthquake. Oh, God. Look at that thing. That thing is a monster. Wow, look at that. That is intimidating as fuck. Holy crap. Of course, it's gonna do psychic. Yeah, this might one-shot me, but I have sturdy, so it's fine. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. Huh. Oh. Oh, turn snacko. If there's any time to be brawlic now, it would be the time. Disarming voice? Why don't you just go for the psychic again? Up. Oh, all right. Okay. That's one down. Oh, what? I don't. I don't. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um... I have nothing. I don't have anything against this thing. That is terrifying. I think I might get whited out. I think this might be the first time. Uh, I'm gonna light screen. Because I don't want to get one-shotted again. Okay, let's see how much this does. Oh, not a lot. Probably because of that light screen. Alright, I'm just gonna Thunderbolt it to death. Oh, Psychic again. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That is definitely gonna hurt. Oh, jeez. That hurts. And I lost my special defense, too. Okay. Well, it's down. Hoo-hoo! Oh, my gosh. Good lord. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to rearrange my team a little bit. I, I was gonna do it. I've been saying that for a while now, but I was like, oh, no, we're fine. Nope. Nope, now is the time to... Now is the perfect time to switch up the team. Uh, definitely replace turn Snacko with... Uh, probably a Steel type. And probably replace Thunderbolt, maybe. With a Water type. I'm not too sure. Uh, no, I don't want to bounce. I want to Flare Blitz this thing. Get out of here! Mystigan is definitely going to be... Mystigan and Donnie are definitely going to be keep, kept on the team. And maybe Shadow Facts. But other than that, the other three? Yeah, I, I can... I, I, I think I can manage to be without out them. I just don't know what, because... Ooh, he has a Luxray. Oh, that would have been perfect for Turn Snacko. God dang it. Uh... I guess Gendora can handle it. It's not like it has ice. It can learn Ice Fang. Yeah, no, it can't learn Ice Fang. Yeah, I know for a fact it can't learn Ice Fang. 
Oh, but you have Intimidate. Uh, that's a... Yeah, that kind of sucks. Uh, nah, I'll just do Dragon Claw. And then finish it off with Dragon Rage. Yeah, that's a, that's a good plan. Ooh. Yeah, I figured it out with Thunder Fang. Oh, look at Luxor. Luxor is so cool. Uh, I don't know. If that, is that 50%? I don't know. I'll just do Dragon Claw again. Because I think I have Rivalry. So, I get boosted against the same gender. That is such a weird uh, ability. And it's so situational, too. Alright. Well, I thought I was... I thought I wasn't ready for uh, Damien, but turns out I am perfectly fine against him. It's all good. It's all good. Just need to go back and heal, turn Snacko, and then we get to explore the library. I thought I was under level for this, but nope. Seems like I'm close to on par. Oh, he doesn't have Sky Shaman. You should have Sky Shaman. Sky Shaman is so much better <laughs> and faster. Tisk tisk. Who knows? He might actually have it. I don't know. Oh, really? Come on, that's such BS. And how am I not fast? Oh no, I am faster. Okay. All right. All right. Not bad. Not bad. I was a little afraid. But it seems like in me choosing not to choose Nora, it chose the computer chose for me. So, you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm sure Nora would have had something really powerful. I'm pretty sure Nora would have had some serious power on her. Ugh, how is it that I haven't even beaten you once? Well, usually the skilled player wins. That's how it works. Now, if she battled me, it'd be a completely different story. Oh, okay. Anyways, Damien and I are going to head back in, in to keep searching. If you could help out, we'd really appreciate it. Let us know if you find anything interesting. Okay. Jeez. She comes across very strong, doesn't she? She's not even doing any work. She's left it all to me. <laughs> While I've been searching, she's been sitting around reading books on ancient Yenovan languages of all things. I should probably go back in. If you could help out, we'd appreciate it. Oh, I nearly forgot. I found this on my coat after I got kidnapped in Vipic City. It's just hair, but I think it's from one of the Abyssal Cultists. Oh, wow. I'm not sure if it'll be useful to you, but Mew does DNA to transform, right? Oh, needs DNA to transform. Oh, that's awesome. Hopefully that'll help you out sometime in the future. Anyways, come and give us a hand. Alright, but before I do that, I'm gonna heal. Unless you guys... Unless you healed my party after. Which is probably not the case. Yeah, no you didn't. Of course you didn't. Okay. So I'm gonna go heal. Then I'm gonna go into the library. Give me that. Heal up my Pokemon. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Alrighty then. Okay, let's go inside this library. Okay, I gotta remember the two books we gotta look out for. Ooh, that's creepy. Hey. Welcome to the Utria Town Library. I'm Zachary, the librarian here. I've made it my goal in life to instill the love and joy of reading in young kids. Why is that in rainbows? Oh, like reading rainbow? <laughs> if you need any help, let me know. Alright. Oh, look at these crystals. These are creepy. I'm reading up on famous users of Electric-type Pokemon. It's super interesting. I'd never thought of heard of Lieutenant Surge before. Oh, what? How do you not... Uh... No. Nope. Ah, the girl with the Dragonite tattoo? Ha! I see what you did there. On 100 years of Geodude. Oh. Okay, so I just gotta keep touching uh, until I find those books. Love in the time of the Charmander? 
No. Oh, I didn't mean to click it twice. Uh, the religious freedom in Torin. Ooh, that might be interesting. The Torin region prides itself on religious freedom of, for all its citizens. Unfortunately, this had led to several wars and conflicts such as the cult plague around the nation. Uh, steps are being implemented to change the laws around religious freedom. Prop propositions include restricting worship of legendaries or merely removing ability to bypass any laws due to religious beliefs. Ooh. Hmm. That's interesting. Uh... Nope. That's not what I'm looking for. The Grapes of Polyrath. Uh, okay. That's am that's, that, that's amusing. Uh, the Professors of Note. Oh. Is that like Professors of... Many Pokemon professors, scientists who study Pokemon as a profession, will fade into mediocrity. Into mediocrity. Uh, however, the names of some professors have withstood the test of time. Professor Oak, for key input into the development of the first Pokedex and training of arguably the strongest trainer of all time. Professor Elm, for his discoveries about Pokemon breeding and extraordinary research. Extraordinary research. And last but not least, Professor Sycamore, for his astounding discoveries about Mega Evolution. Uh, honorable mentions include Professors Birch, Sylvan, Juniper, and Rowan. Okay. Yeah. It's a book called The Trick Room for Dummies by London. I'm reading this fascinating book about ancient Torin. Oh, apparently, it was created by a Pokemon with a thousand hands. Oh, isn't that... That sounds familiar. Huh, I'm the smartest one of them all. I've spent years researching the strongest moves. Can you handle it? What move shall I teach, then? Oh, uh, these aren't super strong moves. Wait, Super Fang? I might want to teach that. Who can learn Super Fang? Oh, no one. Okay. Well, that sucks. But Super Fang? I definitely need that. The very hungry Caterpie, of course. Uh, the rarest Pokeballs? Like Master Balls? Poke, Great, and Ultra Balls are commonplace items for every Pokemon trainer. Uh, certain types of Pokeballs, however, are sought after by all sorts of trainers. The Master Ball is a legend amongst trainers for its ability to catch any Pokemon without fail. The Ancient Ball is another rare form of Pokeball that works especially well on legendaries. Okay, there, are also, there also exists the Infinity Ball, but not much is known about it, as one has never been replicated. What? An Infinity Ball? Isn't that a card? That sounds like a TCG card. The Fault in Our Star Use. <laughs> uh, the Bugsy Scandal. What? Oh, is this about, like, Bugsy being a boy or a girl? Uh, the Bugsy Scandal was a term denoted to an incident many years ago in which young gym leader Bugsy of the Johto region was accused of intentionally losing a Pokemon battle for money. <laughs> Since then, the Azalea Town gym has been disbanded due to public backlash and a negative stigma. <laughs> what? What the hell? Okay, these books are interesting. The Arceus and Garatina. Uh, Arceus and Garatina are the names of the two most ancient Pokemon in the in cosmology. Uh, ancient tests say that Arceus created Dialga, Palkia, and Garatina. However, Garatina was displeased and revolted. His insurgency was quickly stamped down by the other three creation Pokemon and was banished to the Distortion World. Okay, yeah, that's from that's from Generation Four, isn't it? Uh, it's been a long time. I got Swagger. What? No. What? Okay, Swagger and Attract are moves that are notoriously difficult to fight against due to the random aspect they add to battles. Uh, they are also known for being infuriating and frustrating the battle for the same reason. Yeah, of course it is. Recently, however, researchers have found that the colloquially known hacks in the Torn region has been far less prominent than usual. The reasoning for this is currently unknown. Okay, that was definitely not a... That's nothing about... Healing in you! Oh, I found it! Here we go! It's a full information on an equations to do with healing moves. Oh, okay, we found one of them. So now we need to know the fighting one. Who was the first Pokemon trainer? Okay. Yeah, so we found one book, now we gotta find the second one about fighting types. Experts and historians often disagree as to who was the very first Pokemon trainer and was due to a difference in definitions. 
Some define a trainer as someone who uses Pokeballs to capture and train Pokemon, whereas some define it as someone who has any control of Pokemon at all. Most people agree that the very first Pokemon was to train a Pokemon for use in combat was King Versirin, Versirin, who controlled a majority of the medieval world. Okay. However, some people don't believe in the era of Pokemon trainers began until the common use of the Pokeball, of which Agatha of Kanto was the first major user. I feel like they take a lot of stuff from like the manga and all that other stuff, because I've never heard of that one. American Psyduck. <laughs> uh, nope. It's a book called Goodnight Lunatone. You're not really supposed to be talking when you're in here. It's a library after all. Okay, we're gonna have to be a bitch about it. Pokemon races. Okay. Pokemon races have been an attractive tourist destination in Son for Sonata City in many for many years. What's very interesting about the races is that the Pokemon speed does not seem to be factored in to who wins the race. A Swallowed is just as likely to win as an Electrode, which adds a very interesting betting and gambling component to the races. Okay. I don't think we've reached Sonata City, have we? No, 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 we haven't reached Sonata City yet. Okay, so I think we read every book around here. No fighting type yet, but we did find out about the uh, healing stuff. Oh, is that a statue of Professor Oak? Yeah, and that's Professor Elm. Alright, okay, let's start <laughs> over here. Those paintings on the wall are a bit creepy. Sometimes I swear those eyes follow me around. Oh. Uh, that is a little creepy. I'm looking for a book on how weather conditions affect Badlink. Did you know that there are conditions exclusive to the Torn region? I'm hoping to become an expert on, on all of them. Oh, Ooh, okay. That's interesting. Uh, no. A wormhole in time. Okay. All right. These puns need to stop. <laughs> Nope. The Great Ghastly. Oh, come on! All these puns on famous novels. I wonder how they managed to make that crystal float. I wonder that too. That is creepy as fuck. Did I read... Oh, I didn't read the books on this side. The New Moon Guide by Tobias. Hmm. It's a book called The Lapras Shrugged. Uh... No, that's not interesting. Uh, Fashion in Torin. Uh, I guess I'll just read this. Due to the variety of clothing available to purchase and people not wearing the same thing 24-7, fashion is a very big deal to many citizens of Torin. Uh, popular trends at the moment include all purple get-ups made popular by celebrities of the region, as well as a love for fedoras due to speakers against Sinnoh's cosmological beliefs. Oh, all right. Intro to Entry Hazards. Oh, okay. This book isn't very... Oh, no. Uh, criticism of the Second Augur. Huh, the pages have been ripped out. Ah, censorship. Okay, there's no books up here. Okay. Let's go down here now. Man, this music is creeping me the hell out. <laughs> it's the Lavender Town theme. Uh, the Hitmon... Oh! Oh no, the Hitmon Top's Guide to the Galaxy. Really? Where the wild Pokemon are? Nope. Ugh, I can't find that fighting type one. The Guide to Baton Pass. Gaia Town. Ooh, wait a minute. That sounds interesting. Gaia Town is a small town in the northwestern corner of the region. It's comparatively small, but has a variety of facilities that are available to trainers, such as the battle, such as a battle maison and a battle guild. Ooh. Notably, the first Augur was also born in Gaia Town, and before his disappearance, ran a dark type themed gym before his disappearance. Ooh. Oh, dark type themed? Yeah, that's probably just a fancy way of saying it's gonna have like not really dark types. It's gonna have a whole dark cry team or something. Uh, what do you want? Those pain. Oh, no. Yeah, I read. I talked to you already. Uh. There's a book called Video Games. What? There are many popular video games in the world, but none so popular than the game Humans. 
Uh, it's a loosely based off of real life, but ha with the difference of not having Pokemon in the world. It is commonly classified as an ultra horror or depressing game, and is most definitely not recommended to be played. <laughs> Go outside with your Pokemon instead. Oh man, okay. This is the rapid dash of courage. This is very amusing, reading all these books here. Team building basics. Uh, that's not interesting. It's a book called Rain Teams and You by Jaden. This book isn't very interesting. Okay. It's a book called The Adventures of Shuckleberry Finn. Alrighty then. This library is super interesting. So much of the information is useless, but it's all so cool. You know, I'm getting that impression too. Uh, it's a book called The Catcher in the Raichu. Okay. These puns. I have a word with the creator of this game. These puns, good lord. The secret life of combies, are you kidding me? Can I go up this ladder? Oh, secret passage? Oh, secret tunnel. Ooh, is this item? Yep, I got new moon. Oh, what's that? What's new moon? This is like one of those weather-based attacks that I've heard so much about. Let's see, it's TM62. The sky darkens tonight, increasing the power of dark and ghost type moves. Bruh. Okay. Alrighty then. That's interesting. Uh, what do you have to say? This upper floor is bizarre, but the books are just so darn interesting. Be careful with the books you find up here. Some of them contain dangerous and or confidential information. Oh, yes please. I could do for some confidential information. This book seems to be filled with various cosmological horrors, like a black hole. This book contains information on how to summon Darkrai. Let's hope Persephone doesn't see this one. Pfft. I think she already did. Uh, this book is called a Dubbed Anime and Why It Isn't As Bad As You Might Think. <laughs> uh, this floor of the library is truly filled with horrific books. <laughs> uh, hey, look, as someone who started off with watching dubbed anime, I can safely say it's not that bad. This book talks about the Unovan language structure. Okay, let's see what this one is. As someone who's read a lot, who's watched a lot of, uh, uh, Read, watched a lot of dubbed anime, I can safely say it's not that bad. This book is in, written entirely in Latin. Wonder why. Okay. This book seems to revolve around the backstories of some prominent ghost-type Pokemon such as Chandelure, Drifloon, and Banette. Oh, yeah. This book talks about deep-sea Pokemon and that the government has been hiding from the population. If the Abyssal Cult heard about this one. Really? This book seems to be about the worship of Gar Garatina and discusses potential ways to free it. Oh lord, why? Lots of grisly rituals described within. Uh, no, thank you. This book seems to be purring. On second thought, better not touch this one. Oh, is that a Harry Potter reference? That seems that sounds like a Harry Potter reference, isn't it? This book talks about the creation of Delta Pokemon through experimentation. Seems to be more horrific than the first thought. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, well, there is some creepy books in there, but nothing that we are looking for. We are looking for a book about fighting types, and that's it. This book is very interesting. Okay. Uh, called Sky High Hoenn. This book is, uh, not interesting. Not interesting. The Oddish... Oh, come on, that has to be... That's definitely... That really had... That really had to be hard to make sound like the Odyssey by Homer. Come on. Ugh. Alrighty, then. Puns aside. Let's keep looking. Ooh, a fallen book? Uh, I can't touch it. Hello. What a beautiful view of the outside world. Simply astounding, incredible, wonderful. I may have been looking at too many thesauruses. <laughs> oh, there's more to this place. Oh, jeez Louise, this library is huge. I might have to do... I might have to call an episode after a while. Uh, this book... No, not interesting. Lord of the Flygons. Uh, these puns. A guide to giving your Pokemon a better home. Definitely not me. Not a Team Rocket member. It's so stupid. Not interesting. 
It's a book called Dante's Infernape. Okay. It's a book about the lion, the witch, and the war turtle. <laughs> uh, Torin, potions cause pocurus. Wait, what? That doesn't sound interesting. A sandstorm guide to competitive play. Not interesting. Not interesting. Okay. Where's Damien and Nora? For whom the beldum tolls? Really? Okay. Uh, a tale of t of Mewtwo cities? It's a book called A Guide to Giving Your Pokemon a Better... Oh, that's the same one. Not interesting. Oh, man. I'm trying to look for this fighting type book. Did you know that Smurgle can learn the m most moves of any Pokemon? That's because it has... It's only it's the only one that learns sketch. Wow, I'm learning so many new things today. Yeah, I knew that already. The Kanto region and its heroes. Oh. The odd man. The old man and the Cedra. Oh wow, that takes me back to like middle school. Middle school reading. Uh, dance w with the Dragonites. Not interesting. Uh Let's see. Not interesting. The Tale of Versun. Oh! That seems to be a fictional story about a young hero of the Versun region. How interesting. Hmm. This is not interesting. Okay. Aesop's Clefables. Yeah, figured. Not interesting. It's a book called One Flew Over the Spiro's <laughs> Nest. Not interesting. That was a great movie, by the way. I don't think I... Did I read the book? I don't remember. I probably did. The Picture of Dorian Greninja. I never read that book. Not interesting. Uh, not interesting. Not interesting. Okay, well... Let's see. No notices around here. I, I'm looking for that fighting type book. Dr. Johnson and Mr. Hydreigon. That's a good... That, that's a good... That's a good joke. No, I read that already. Okay, let's keep looking. Uh, oh no, it's blocked off. The door's locked. A sign on the door reads, Abandoned Wing, keep out. An abandoned wing? Nice find, Arya. This might just be where the prophecy is stored. I agree. Nobody knows the prophecy except for the cult leaders. It would have to be hidden somewhere most people wouldn't look. Oh ho ho ho! Oh, is that the librarian? Are you three going into the abandoned wing? May I ask about what about it interests you? Oh, we were going to look for a very old book, sir. We're trainers, you see. We're trying to take down the cults, and we figured that the one prophecy about them might be back here. I see. You'd be surprised at how many people have looked for that prophecy. Hmm, tourists. I'll let you in if you want. There's no prophecy back there, but there's... There's that one glowing orb. An orb? What do you mean? That's right. It's been there since this library was built. It's only one of many different odds and ends lying around in the wing. For whatever reason, people believe it has something to do with the prophecy. And so, they'll try to get at it get it to react to them. I've already seen hundreds of people leave disappointed. Do you really want to waste your time? Well, we might as well try, right? Damien, for once in your life, you're right. Let us in, please. I promise we'll be quick. Fine, but we really need to be fast. I have a lot of things to do today. Open. Alright, it's unlocked. The glowing orb is in the far end of the abandoned wing. I'll take you to go see it. Be careful, though. There are many... There are both wild Pokemon and possibly even trainers back here. Oh. Hmm. Let's go find out what the future holds. Roger, roger. Uh, but before that, I'm gonna look for that book. <laughs> um, I think I'll save that for the next episode. I, I talked to every book here. Maybe it's in the abandoned wing? I, I don't know. I almost want to go backtrack. Oh my. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna save that for the next episode. 
Okay, I'm gonna save this for the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, maybe subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.